everyone welcome to sums up today we will discuss some important applications of hyperbolic functions but before that i would like to recall that the hyperbolic functions behave like the trigonometric functions both of them have similar identities and we can find the inverse hyperbolic functions and their derivatives by simple chain rule method moving on to the applications the first application is a hanging cable between two towers the hanging cables forms a particular curve called catenary and the equation of that catenary is given by y is equals to b plus a cos hyperbolic x by a where a and b are the arbitrary constants so if we know the distance between the two towers we can also find the length of the cable a very famous example of catenary is the gateway arc in st louis the equation of the gateway arc is given by y is equals to a cos hyperbolic x by l into c minus 1 where a and c are again the constants the second application is trap tricks the word trap tricks is derived from tractor when a long tractor have to take a sharp turn from a corner then it forms a particular curve called trap tricks The equation of trap tricks is given by y is equals to a secant hyperbolic inverse x by a minus root of a square minus x square, where a is again the arbitrary constant. A similar curve is formed when a boat attached to a rope is pulled by a man at the shore. Moving to the next application, the frequency of the water waves in any water body is given by root of g lambda by 2 pi tan hyperbolic 2 pi d by lambda where d is the depth of the water body lambda is the wavelength of the water wave and g is acceleration due to gravity so we see that the frequency of the water wave depends upon the depth of the water body that is why the waves are weaker on the shore as compared to that in the middle of any water body the last application of hyperbolic functions is A skydiver always chooses a particular height so as to reach the ground safely in a particular time. And the expression for that height is given by y is equals to a log cos hyperbolic b t, where a and b are again the arbitrary constants. T is time in seconds, and y is the height from which the object is set to fall. This expression is applicable. when the air resistance is directly proportional to that of the square of the falling object's velocity so these were some applications of hyperbolic functions i hope you like this video we will meet in the next video till then stay safe and take care thank you